So this is a quick video of the controlled experiment I'm going to do with my Ghost Mantis. This is a previously Dart Frog tank. There's actually Dart Frog still in here, but I'm going to pull them out before this happens. Because I have other tanks I could put them in. Anyway, this is the tank. It's fairly green, fairly humid. So I'm going to put half of the clutch in here. And then this is the current tank that I have my female that she's been laying out in here. And there she is right there. And actually this is a oath right there. And there's another one back here. And there's another one in a jar that I have up there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is right this is the first one so when this one hatches I'm gonna trim all of the green leaves in here and pretty much leave the tank looking like this so it's gonna be dry leaf litter and twigs and stuff and half of the hatchlings are gonna go in here and then the other half is gonna go in here and I'm not gonna miss as much this tank and maybe miss this tank once a week it holds humidity pretty well because i have everything taped up and it's all glass closed this one on the other hand has a lot of ventilation both on the top and on the bottom here um so hopefully i could get more green mantis out of this tank and more brown mantis out of this tank so this should be hatching in about two to three weeks. It was laid back in uh, January 20th, I believe. So it's a little bit over a month. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so stay tuned. I'll be updating as soon as this hatches and then I'll just split the Split the hatchlings and then cut this, cut this one off, because I didn't want to cut. This is the main branch for this, this whole tree here. So if I cut that, then it'll be naked in here. So after this one hatches, I'll cut that, and then cut everything else down, and have it just dry and twiggy. All right, have a good day.